Lipid lowering agents. The aim of lipid lowering agents is to increase blood levels of HDL that is good cholesterol and decrease blood levels of LDL that is bad cholesterol and decrease blood levels of triglycerides. So here number one is HMG CoA reductase inhibitors. They are also called as statins. Examples Atorva statin, Simva statin. So the synthesis of cholesterol occurs in the liver from acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA gives rise to HMG CoA. HMG CoA under the action of HMG CoA reductase gives rise to mevalonate. Mevalonate in turn gives rise to cholesterol. So, what statins do is the statins will inhibit this HMG CoA reductase. Hence, synthesis of cholesterol is decreased. Number two is niacin and fibrates. Triglycerides in the blood vessel goes to adipose tissue under the action of lipoprotein lipase. And triglycerides from the adipose tissue goes to blood vessels under the action of hormone sensitive lipase. So what fibrates do is fibrates examples gem fibrosil phenofibrate. What fibrates actually do is they stimulate lipoprotein lipase. Fibrates stimulates lipoprotein lipase. So uh, triglycerides from the blood vessel are moved to adipose tissue. Hence the triglyceride level in the blood vessel is decreased. Here what niacin do is niacin inhibits hormone sensitive lipase. Hence triglycerides are triglycerides cannot be moved to blood vessel and hence again the blood levels of triglycerides is decreased. Next is azetimibe and bile acid resins. Examples of bile acid resins are cholestyramine, cholestipole, colsevelam. So, small intestinal absorption of cholesterol is inhibited by azetimibe. Small intestinal absorption of bile acids is inhibited by bile acid resins. Decreased bile acid reabsorption causes liver to use more cholesterol in order to make bile acids, thus decreases blood cholesterol levels. Number four is PCSK9 inhibitors. Example, alirosumab, evolosumab. What PCSK9 actually does is it stimulates degradation of LDL receptors on liver. Hence, there will be more LDL in blood. What PCSK9 inhibitors do is they inhibit PCSK9, hence decreases level of LDL in blood. Thus, PCSK9 inhibitors decrease degradation of LDL receptors, thus increases LDL uptake and decreases blood LDL levels. Adverse effects of LD adverse effects of lipid lowering agents is number one HMG CoA reductase inhibitors, those are nothing but statins. Statins. So what statins does is they are hepatotoxic and they cause myopathy. Myopathy gets more severe when used with niacin or fibrates. Side effects of bile acid resins are 
deficiency of vitamins A, D, E, K. These are fat soluble vitamins. Side effects of niacin are hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia and flushed face. Here flushed face is due to prostaglandins. Very important. Number four, fibrates. Side effects of fibrates are cholesterol, gallstones, myopathy. Thank you.